Hey, good morning, you all. We are sitting here at Hatch. Uh, it's a restaurant in Jackson Hole, enjoying some breakfast. What a great night. We woke up this morning, it's about 50 degrees, nice and chilly. Um, we're gonna have a nice day. We're just gonna run up and maybe take the tram up to the top of the mountains, be able to see all of Jackson and a really nice view of the Grand Tetons. Uh, excited for today, just gonna do a couple little loops and enjoy. Maybe the gals want to shop, I don't know. All I know is the road goes on forever and the party never ends with this group, man. We're having a great time running around America. So what what kind of food did you guys get? What do you have? Um, avocado toast with a really good pico de gallo and um, some kind of chili aioli. Mm. You got the same thing? Got the same thing, can't wait to dig in. What did wow. you get? Well, I jumped on the uh, avocado egg tacos, which look unbelievable, and they have the jalapeno bacon. As did I, and what did Josh have? Josh, Josh got the big... Uh, huevos yours rancheros. Josh, yours looks really good. But I got to tell you, the hatch chili that comes out of New Mexico and the lower states, wonderful, wonderful taste, flavor, profile. Going to dig it. So let's get to Eaton, and we'll get on down the road. See you down the road. It might not be no crossroads. You have your ears on? Good morning, my brother from another mother. Yes, sir. Look at these Grand Tetons. Yeah, we're going to go into Teton Village here and take the aerial tram. I think it takes us up to about 10,700 feet. Wow. Uh, and I think it does that. It's like a 5,000 foot climb in like 12 minutes. It just kind of really jets up through there. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, and up there you're going to be able to see this whole valley. And you'll see a great view of the Grand Tetons as well. Wow. Uh, they serve these uh, incredible waffles up on top that are filled with like Nutella, peanut butter. I mean, we may have to get one just to split between everyone to check it out. A bite each. Yeah, look at Laura. She's doing a little bit of iPhone cam. There you go. So look, we're up here, uh, I guess, in a, around September, October for my friend's wedding. And I'm going to, we'll go past the village. We're going to run down and see if we can see the ranch where they had their reception at. I put up a post uh, a while ago and a reel that has these wild horses coming through and cowboys on the, their horses with no saddles. They were just riding bareback. It was so incredible as they were running in the dust and the thundering herd coming right down at us. It was great. Sounds great. You know, it's just really great to get up in this high country in the morning. You wake up, you go have your breakfast, nice cup of coffee, and you're you're out here just smelling it and feeling it and the vibe is so awesome when we're on our motorcycles. I mean, what could be better than this? This is awesome. I'm just loving this. Well, we got our wives with us. We got our son, Josh. Uh, <laughs> you know, can't beat it. Can't yeah, beat so. it. 73 degrees. We're at 6,300 feet above sea level. Uh, it's going to be a really nice, nice day today. Yeah, so, you know, it's added that those lyrics of the song, the road goes on forever and the party never ends. I'm loving it. Never so, hey, ends. With that, hey, we'll see you guys, what, down the road? We'll see you up on the mountain. Hey, see you on the mountain. Later. Hey, we're here in uh, Teton Village. We're gonna take the, what is this? The Bridger Gondola. It's the highest point on the gondolas. Unfortunately, the aerial trams close, but this is still gonna be dope. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Let's load up and go. Let's load up. 
Come on, ladies. After you, my friend. Yo, here we are. Yo, stoked on this. We eat, we have fun, we take our time getting out, out, so it makes people have to hurry. <laughs> Jesus. He thinks it's going too fast. <laughs> Long well, as that you was get a nice out, trip. that's fine, right? <laughs> yeah. I wanted you guys to go back down to the bottom. It's all about him. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. What was that, about a 10 minute ride up the hill? Yeah, it takes uh, maybe 10 on this. So this is the aerial tram up here I wanted to take you guys to. That's the very top of the summit there. Oh, wow. I think that's 10,500. Is there a restaurant up there? There's a restaurant. There's a restaurant in here, too. But we got this epic view of the valley here, Jackson area, Alpine. Wilson this way. We can't quite see the Grand Teton, so unfortunately. But hey, it's... What a day. Yeah. Well, shout out to the neighbors, because they asked if we wanted pizza. And of course I said yes, because I'm a big pizza guy. They just are talking. They were doing business. Big Lance is, uh, you know, looking good in the hat. And uh, we're just living it up. Anything else to say? I want to see you take a bite. Mm. Yeah. Let's get in here, Let's man. get in. Let's go. Let's get in here. Come on. Wait for Josh. Where's Josh? Come on, Josh. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, where are we? You know where we are. We're at the Mangy Moose here in Teton Village. We're grabbing some lunch, head back into Jackson Hole, and we'll do some editing and run around the town. Wow, did you see the cheers? That was great, you know? What do you oh, let's go cheers, hold on, let's hold on. Let's go in Montucky. Montucky well, calls next. And what's your highwayman? Cheers, boys. Look hey, at that. what's the highwayman? The highwayman, Pilsner. All right, we got a chicken house salad, chicken house salad. Carnitas tacos. Chicken house salad. Chicken house salad. Martini. See that rope. So uh, we just got back from Teton Village. We're going to take the ladies down Main Street, Antler Park, and go shopping. What do you think? Is that good for you guys? We are very excited. They've are got some good shops here, and it's just beautiful out here in, in uh, Jackson Hole. How excited are you? We are so excited. We can't wait. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yo, so last night you were talking about this uh, park and the arches and every which way but loose, right. clean Eastwood. So uh, it's pretty cool in the daytime, isn't it? Very cool. I mean, they're so massive and it's so solid and put together so gnarly. There are four arches in this park. It's George Washington Memorial Park. It's kind of town square. Um, these were erected in 1953 by the Rotary Club. And now they have to change them out. There's a lifespan on the uh, antlers. They're elk antlers. Really? There's about 2,000 in each arch. Wow. But today the Boy Scouts actually go out into the forest and gather these antlers that are used to really help maintain the arches. I mean, think of that. 2,000 <laughs> antlers 
in this arch right here. Pretty crazy. Yeah. So should we go check out that park? Yeah, let's run through. There's a memorial inside for the veterans, so we can check that out. Yeah. We even have music playing. Right. So even look at the statue up there, the guy on a Mustang trying to break it in, I imagine. That's awesome. Jackson, Jackson Holm Veterans Monument. So it's got the War of 1812, World, World War II, the Spanish-American War. It's just crazy. This monument is dedicated to the memory and honor of the men and women of the Teton County who served bravely in the United States Armed Forces in times of war and peace. Their commitment is reflected in the military conflict eras in which they proudly served. American Legion Post 43, Memorial Day, May 25th, 2020. We love our servicemen and women. Yes, we do. We love history of America, American history and yep. the things that you find. And that's why we love ripping around in our time machines. <laughs> hey, yesterday it was Flag Day. You had a post and you were like, yeah, oh, so I love America, <laughs> right? Yes. You're like you're not bouncing out of here. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Taking it on. So. Yes, sir. Yes. Well, let's take a little tour of the town, and we'll figure out the next stop. Yeah. Maybe we'll take you into the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar over there. Look at some uh, silver dollars embedded into the the bar, and you know the set, the seats there are actually saddles. Yeah. So it sounds like a place Could that you can cool. quench your thirst. So hey. <laughs> We'll see Let's you in a few it. minutes down, down the road. Wow, what a great run, man. I hope you're <laughs> enjoying this Yellowstone run because we are having a great time. It's brought to you by Cobra USA. We run their American-made parts like Sissy Bars racks and exhaust systems. And hey, they make them for all different kind of bikes. You can go to TulaneLife.com and check out the parts. We're proud to ride loud and hey, see you back in the video. Yo, so where are we? We're at New West Knife Works and we are, you know, in Jackson Hole. So we're going to get my knife sharpened. Awesome. And we walked in there and just asked, right? Yeah. And we showed him the knife and what? He, he knows the knife. He knows the quality of it. He really was impressed. He goes, I can sharpen it up and give you a tip back on it. He was so stoked with the handle. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's check it out. Man, I can't wait to see him go to work. Look at that fine movement right there. So he's going to get it back to like a 21 degree and then get the tip on it. He's got three different grinds. He's got wheels he's got to move through. And you can tell he knows what he's doing because he's moving that blade just ever so slightly across there. I mean, I use it a lot as a tool, so it, it definitely takes a beating. Yeah. And we get so many comments on the on the blog. What knife is it? It's a half face. Half face blade. Awesome quality. Me being this old, I can barely see what he's doing. And he's going right into the edge, which is awesome. Yeah, I feel sorry for anyone that runs into us tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Already. You gonna get this right here? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta put that on too. <laughs> We ought to wear this over to the cabin. There's a short one over there with you. I don't know where we're going next, but, but I think he's ready. Could be a little warm today, though. Yeah. Nice. I'm digging this. Grizzly Yo. Adams. <laughs> hey, guys. We're here at New West Knife Works in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And we met Anthony as we were trying to sharpen the half-face blade for Lance. Anthony, tell us a little bit about the store. Uh, sure. So welcome to New West Knife Works, guys. This is actually a brand new uh, flagship store here in Jackson Hole. The idea is that this is the combination of opening up stores in Park City and Napa, as well as a few class trips to Japan. Um, the vibe here is, is very much art gallery, and because art and I are pieces of art. Whether it's our classic G Fusion knife line, or it's something like one of a kind, like our custom rock blocks. Whether it's our rock blocks, custom magnets, these are things that are literally one of a kind. We will never duplicate any model or style because you can't. The cast and the magnets are broken when they're done. You no know, two rocks in the Tetons are the same. Over here, like, one thing we're very big into is like, uh, let me rephrase, like, we are very big into reclaiming old things that still work. 
our Cleaver project and restoration department has been lights out for the past two years since kind of bringing it to life. All these cleavers are over 100, 200 years old. Wow. So, so you're fun. repurposing old steel and wood? So mostly the blades are fine. I mean, okay. And what's really cool is these are East Coast small mills that you never heard of, but it's high carbon steel. And you feel one of these things, you're like, who is the giant man who just clobbered a pork shoulder for eight hours a day for 35 years? Right. Um, but something like this is like, this is an original handle, an original steel, and it's 200 years old. But you find it in a dumpster, you find it in a farm sale, and they're like, it's trash. Let's take it. We Give it to our boys for the day. We take new. care of it. In here is Mount Man Toy Shop. This is a really cool collection of things that we actually make. Whether it's things that you don't need, it's about want, right? A beaver line for a vest, or do you need a $600, $2,000 pocket knife? We have a lot of fun in here. The purpose is like, what are things that you need to live in the Rocky Mountain West, right? Like a possibility pack. Recently I went on a search trip in Mexico and I used every single piece of it, right? It's kind of your grab bag, your go bag when the zombies come. But at the same time, do you need a beaver koozie for your of Budweiser? Of course, you, you have done? to have one of those. So it's, it's, what we try to do is make every store an experience. You're not gonna find this shit anywhere else. And this is uh, New West Fine Art. Um, wow. This is actually the original Mountain Man toy shop and New West Life Works uh, since about 10 years ago, like downstairs would be our international uh, distribution center, not anymore. I used to live upstairs. <laughs> um, but the idea is like, we are very big into art, everyday art, things you want to use every day because it brings joy yeah. to your life. So it's like, sure, you want to buy a $27,000 painting? We got you. We got you want you. a chef net that's literally going to last you forever? We got you and you're not going to find anywhere else. So we wow. do not wholesale any of our stuff. This is really cool and we appreciate you uh, taking the time. Um, Anthony's also a scrum half, played rugby, so, you know, you're 30 what? 34. And are you ready to retire? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's in your blood, it's hard to get I, out, it's, right? As I heard from a former scrum half, he's like, Yo, hey, when you do quit, it's never the right time. Right. <laughs> well, it's really cool. We meet new friends, new people. Appreciate you taking oh, the time. My man. pleasure, guys. Safe travels. Come check out Knifeworks here, New West Knifeworks in Jackson Hole. What a great shop. And we're gonna go look at my knife. Let's go check it out. All right, see okay. you down there. So we just came out of New West Knife Works. We got the old half-face blade sharpened. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful. It's like brand new, it has a tip on it. Really happy we came in here. Galen's like, let's find a place to get that knife sharp. We did, I'm stoked. Now I gotta be careful when I holster it. So we met Anthony, right? We met Anthony, and you guys will see his shop. It's very cool in there. So yeah. stay tuned. We'll see you down the road. road. Wait till you see yourself, man, with your big Grizzly Adams suit on. Really? Yeah, you're going to be stoked. <laughs> I mean, I almost think that we need to get that for you. Well, for I like, think you needed to try the summer one on. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> could have been cool, but hey. I don't know. So. I mean, we're just like cruising around Jackson Hole now. Look at over there. What, look at that. Million yeah. dollar cowboy, cowboy bar. bar. Let's go check that out for a minute. All right, let's check it out. Hey guys, we're here at the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar in Jackson Hole, right across from George Washington Memorial Park. And we're gonna go in and have a libation like many before us. <laughs> let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. All I'm right. gonna check it out. Let's see what uh, is going on. Look at this place. Established in 1937. How's it going? Yeah. You got a seat at the bar? Yes, we do. But I got to give up my knife. Yes, we do. All right, here you go, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I see a couple of saddles down here. Why don't you yeah. walk down in front? <laughs> All right, this is a good place to have a drink. Yeah. Let's do it. Why don't you get me saddling up? All right, let's do it. Yeah, uh, buddy. Yeah, and it's got stirrups too. You can hang on. I think that's where when you have too many libations. Right. And look at the bar. Silver dollars in it. All right, well, let's get us a libation. We will see you down the road. Well, hey, we're getting to the close of the evening here. We'll do a little bit of dinner and stuff and close it out, but after a long, hard fought battle, I found Lance's bison. Here he is. We finally got him. 
Look we how might big have that to, head is. Yeah, might have to take this dude home, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. We'll see some of these live in the park. Yes. Down the road. Hey guys, uh, we were just cruising around town. You guys found this shop uh, earlier when you were shopping. What's it called? Beaver Creek Hat and Leather. Oh, leather. Awesome. Leather. Yeah. So you guys are saying you found a lot of hats in here. Yes, for sure. Teresa said, I bet you lamps could find a hat in here. Yes. Well, why don't we saunter in and find my cowboy a hat? All right. Hi, oh, sir. We have your hat here for you. <laughs> hey, look. What? They, We've been waiting for you. Wow, they have my hat. It's all here ready to go. I mean, it's it's kind of the same profile, a little bit lighter in the sun. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. You know, I think I can do this. Yeah, I think. What's uh, your name? Marge. This is Marge, Marge. right? Hello. Marge, you thank see that? you. You're welcome. Welcome to Two Lane Life, and you're going to be on our blog. No way, that's yes. amazing. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and we are at? We are at Beaver Creek Hats and Leather in Jackson, Wyoming. And do you live here? I am only here for the summer, but I am from Wyoming. Oh. You are there from you what part of Wyoming? Rock Springs. Oh, we know it well. We just went through there last really? year on our way back from Sturgis. That's amazing. Awesome. So I think I got my summer hat here. Whoa. Ooh. You know, so like I say. Well, we can fit that in the tour pack, right? We think we can. Yeah. If we can't, we'll come back and have it shipped. But hey. Teresa was the one. Yeah. She said. It really lightens up your eyes. Yeah. 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 Hey, thank, thank you. you. Like well, the people you meet and the places you see, and we got our boy a cowboy hat. <laughs> hey. We'll see you all down the road. <laughs> You're asking me where we are? I have no idea where we're at. I know we're in Wyoming. I have no idea what Be more is. descriptive than that. Are we in Jackson Hole? Oh, we are in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I don't know the name of this restaurant. It's called The Local. The Local. I'm not local, so I must not know that. Well, you will be after this meal. <laughs> what do you have here? I got some blackened corn chowder with halibut in it, and it is rocking. Right, but what did you say was bomb? There was a little crisp of like cheese toast in there and that was gone? amazing. It's gone. There might be another one. I'd have to find it. But. Nice. Um, I think the next prettiest plate is sitting in front of our guy, Jay. What do you got there? A dozen oysters. So he's got a dozen oysters. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. I think he said they're from Baja, California. He did say that, yeah. Yeah. Ladies? Um, I have a nice little salad here. Looking forward to my green for our delicious dinner. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. And we also, we are splitting the arugula salad, which is pretty yummy. And some uh, Mrs. Wilson, which is pretty tasty. Uh -huh. All right. And what do we have here in the middle? Got a little uh, bucket of fries. Yeah. Bucket of fries. Just a little appetizer. Well, let's wait for the mains. Yeah, wait to see the mains. There's see you in a few good minutes. Stuff coming. All right. The main course is here, and we have beef, our bison Wellington, and we're sharing this one. So we're going to slice it in half and see how that is. What do you have? Uh, we have some uh, mushrooms. We have a couple of plates of Brussels sprouts with bacon and uh, balsamic. Teresa and I split the uh, Wagyu, American Wagyu, New York Strip. Whoa. Uh, and Josh looks like he has like a half of a pig over there. <laughs> I think that's a big old piece of pork belly with a, what, a wedge salad, but no blue cheese uh, and balsamic. Wow. Mmm, bon appetit. Let's Look see at that. Here. Cut into that thing. There you go. Now, this is a meal. This is a Thank meal. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, well hey, right. we're going to eat and then we will see you in a little bit because you never know. So, how great was today? 
I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it was a great day. I mean, look, it's a little different than we normally do, but we got up this morning, had some great bre breakfast at Hatch. We went up to the Teton Village, took a gondola ride up 10,000 feet. Which was amazing. Had some beers amazing. and some pizza and a waffle. What a great day. And then came back down. Oh, we shot a little bit in the ranch, too. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yes. Um, came back into town, and we bought you a hat. We got your knife sharpened. Yeah. Uh, I was in a buffalo suit. What? I hope you guys enjoyed that, because it was pretty cool for us. That was my favorite part of the day, seeing uh, Grizzly Adams. <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a fun day. Just took around town a little bit. We did a little antler knowledge, George Washington Menor Memorial. It was great. I'm going to say they are. They really enjoyed that part, and we got some great stuff did. coming up. So, hey, what do they do? They need to subscribe to the Pit website. Yes. They need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. They need to ring, ring the bell. bell. Give a thumbs up. Comment. comment. Yes. All that Good stuff. Job. <laughs> Just do it all, and that will be really cool. So hey. we'll wait, but before we just see you down the road, tomorrow we're headed to Island Park, Idaho. Yeah. We're going to do our thing, and then we're going to go into Yellowstone. So yeah. we, we still have a couple days that are going to be epic. So then we'll see, see you down, down the road. road.